If you need encouragement, encourage somebody. If you are feeling hopeless, give somebody else hope. And so to combine what Charles and Jonathan just said, when Charles said, you gotta figure out what you need, if you need it, be it. So whatever it is that you feel like in your life you need, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, how can you take steps to be that for somebody else? And you know, it's, it's a simple sowing and reaping process. If you plant seeds of hope in someone else, then when the harvest comes, when those seeds of hope start to bear fruit, you are going to be on the receiving end of that hope as well. On the flip side of this equation, it's important to understand that if you're in a place where you feel like, man, I just, I can't trust anybody. Like nobody can be trusted. I would challenge you and, and, and beg to say that you are probably a untrustworthy person because if nobody else can be trusted, then you probably can't be trusted. And if you were someone that was trustworthy, then you would attract other trustworthy people. If you put good stuff out, good stuff will come back. And in my personal uh, experience, it comes back tenfold, twentyfold. It's not the like woo woo, like mysterical, like all of a sudden there's going to be fog that comes up behind me and I have a glass ball that I'm looking through. It's just having the right intent, being a good person and knowing that good things will happen because of it. And in those times, not always, but in those times when I was able to be for someone else what I actually needed, I got what I wanted. I got what I needed. The act of giving, the act of giving ultimately shows gratitude for what has been given to you but it also shows that you're in a place, that you're in a mental state of abundance because you know that exactly like Neil uh, Elliott just said, scarcity is not a good place to operate, that you know that if you are operating in a place of abundance, that by giving, you know, you know that there is more coming your way. Being an abundance mindset is that like I can give generously and I can give my time and money and energy and resources because there's so much more out there that's coming. And it's like the second you make that, that switch um, in your head, things just start happening. If you are feeling hopeless, give somebody else hope. And it may not be in how they pour back into you, but the activity and the process of encouraging somebody else will bring you encouragement. If you don't believe me, try and so whatever that thing it is in your life that you know you need, like focus on that one thing and be that for as many people as humanly possible and you will find it. Either through them or through the process of being it for them, you'll find it for yourself.